So you went from physical bondage, cattle style, animal style, um, farming style bondage that we went into, went under for, for hundreds of years, you know, um, that nobody wants to talk about. They tell you to forget about that shit. And they tell you don't think about it. And they try to erase it in here. They're trying to even erase it out of history, but everybody else has the abilities and the powers to shut shit down just because that you say or do one thing derogatory or make them feel uncomfortable. This just shows you that as, as humans, as people, as black people especially, we're treated like bugs, like cattle, like cows, like herd. So you gotta understand it's not, it's not what you think it is, man. It's not never what you think it is. You, you have to humble yourself and see what you're really dealing with and who you're really dealing with and how things are really operating. And that way you can maneuver through it because it's not to, uh, it's not to not live life. It's to see how to really live life. Read the laws and stay the, the ways of the land and shit so you can, you know, boom. But somewhere along the line, we've allowed this money, this fake slave money, this debt money, this slave debt money that the system we're under, the fiat system, we've allowed this thing to shit encapsulate us, to basically enslave us, to get to Niggas wake up every day and just think about dollars, think about money, you know, and then real money people, the real billionaires and, tri and uh, trillionaires and millionaires and people who really got money, that's all they think about. The hundred thousand heirs and shit like that, that's all that consumes their mind is money, 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 money. Um, and only to have a better choice of food, only to have a better choice of the same shit that everybody else has. Just, and and that choice was given to them and put up there. So keep, it's like a, um, it's like a trick. It's like a trick place for uh, famous people to feel like they're important. Magic's a hell of a man to come on TV and say what he had to say. He got a lot of heart. You know what I'm saying? And did it with a smile on his face. I feel good. I feel good. Life goes on. I'm going to beat this. <laughs> Cartoon Network. Because your money is the same money everybody else is spending, you just have a little bit more of it. So the only way to make you feel like you like you have accomplished something more, you're before it all falls down. Before it all falls down. Before it all falls down. All falls down. Before it 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 all falls down. All falls down. Still time in the game, no, it's not over yet. different or special is to give you an elite uh, expensive high-end store to where you're gonna waste a big chunk of money for something that is worth really that at all but it just gives you a sense of value a fake sense of value to where you feel like you're in a status or you're in an elite class or group of people which there's nothing different from none of those people so like said like i said except for the foods 
and the, the waters, and it's no different. We're all the same person. I mean, we're all the same uh, human race, you know? Some just know a little bit more, some are bigger, some are taller. We're different in their physical aspects, but we're the same in the biological aspect of humanity. We're all fucking humans. So all these classes and groups and this and that, it's, it's broken us up. But then let's talk about them focusing on the money. So when you when you when you when you see what people have done for these for the money, uh, people kill for money, people steal for money, people rob for money, people kidnap for money, people will rape people for money, people will murder for money, people will do good things for money too. They'll work, they'll provide a service, they'll sell things. Um, you can uh, panhandle. That's a lot of. Uh, you can sell things like it's a lot of things you can do positively to get money too. So everything is not negative about money. I'm just saying the fact that it has to be the forefront and the focus of your life that it controls us so much that it has so much control of us is dangerous. Um, very dangerous that's why a lot of people just jump off the grid become homeless and just live life for what it really is because at a certain point they realize that everything's a rat race and everything's a game and it's all kind of bullshit and set up so i want y'all to understand man um because if that had been me i'd have came on <laughs> y'all looking at dead man <laughs> i got five six years tops i'm robbing banks a lot of people have sold out for money and I'm not talking about the Illuminati and all that crazy shit I'm talking about just the fact that you in this world we're living in thank God every day but my number one mission is to make it home safe I'm trying to get on hope and they see I'm out of place we live in a crazy world we live in a crazy world in this world we're living in thank God every day but my number one mission is to make it home safe I'm trying to give them hope and they say I'm out, out of place. place We live in a crazy world, we live in a crazy world When I kick my flow, they say I'm a specialist I pick up the microphone and it's so magnificent You can ride the wave, what I do not recommend I'm a team player, lead the lead in the six When you travel on this road, you might lose a lot of friends Might not make sense at first, but you get it in the end I do it to be different, man, that's what I represent People have openly accepted all the things that are totally DJ bad for them out here. And totally just, they just welcome all and everything that's just so negative and against humanity, they welcome it so much. Like, mmm, natural flavors is delicious. Like, I've, I've, to, I've had people one time, I told them what natural flavors was. And, um, by the way, you already know what it is if I um, don't look up plenty of my old video so I already told somebody what it was and uh they were like mmm that's delicious I love these babies like it's to that we're to that point out here y'all you know but as far as the money goes when they change the money over when they switch over the dollar when they devalue this the, the, the well, fuck the value that the value of this dollar that we have now is halfway valued anyway so once they devalue it and, and break it all the way down and take it away 
what did you sell your soul for? What well, what did you do all that for? Oh you oh you make sacrifices, huh? Oh 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 for what? To be oh, oh you niggas sold your soul to be a drug addict to go back to the streets. Oh, you see what happened to Rich Boy? Look at Rich Boy. You see what happened to all the fam uh, uh, shit, hundreds of famous rappers, hundreds of athletes, hundreds of sports people. They getting all their money and then where, where do they end up? Broke, dead, or in jail. Some good, but I don't really know in a lot of successful uh, musician stories. Those are the people who are very active and, and very active and do whatever that they're told to do to stay relevant and current, to keep a paycheck going. Cause that, that lifestyle that you spending $20,000 a month in bills or, or more, how much money do you have to make to keep up with this lifestyle? You get what I'm saying? I'm assassinating the president. I ain't got shit to lose. Because <laughs> 91 was a trip. 91 was a year everybody went crazy. Police lost their motherfucking minds. I know y'all seen the Ronnie King beat and came on every night turned into a TV series. Let's watch the Rodney King beat tonight, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, we're whooping his ass just for you. And they fucked the brother up. So what did people sell you? What did people do it for? What did it even matter? When you was spending $100 for a piece of steak meat to eat, $200 steak, and that's just not even good for you. You're still gonna be a fat ass. You're still gonna be unhealthy. You're still gonna be, you're, st you're still paying to kill yourself. Niggas is drinking natural flavors, eating natural flavors all every day, all day. Don't even care, don't even know what that is. And you wonder why. And you got money. So what does the money matter? And I'm not saying this because I'm broke, because I'm a working class man. I work for my living. I make steady paychecks, then I work, you know, just like that most Americans do. So I'm not saying this because I'm broke. I'm not saying this because I'm broke. I'm saying this because I figured out that this shit doesn't even make sense, and it doesn't make a difference. As long as you have what you need to maintain, that's what matters. But we're, we're all fed into this system of uh, this fake money shit. So we're going to get deeper and deeper into it, man. It's your big home, big baby, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. I just trying to make y'all understand that it was all pretty much pointless. Somebody comment down below and let me know what you think. And Nana's getting ready to go to trial if he's become on TV. We're not guilty. Stevie Wonder can see these motherfuckers are guilty. But that's all right, because the brother getting paid. He getting a million dollars for every blow. Fifty-six million dollars. I'm looking to get fucked up. I'm doing 300 miles an hour in a Volkswagen, yelling out the window, fuck the police, fuck all your bad dream motherfuckers, come over here, whoop my ass, give me my cash. If I know I'm getting a million dollars for every blow, I will grab that billy club and fuck my own shit up. <laughs> Thomas and Anita here. Black on black crime at the highest level. And I think both of them was telling the truth. Cause Clarence had pinched so many asses, you just forgot about that one. Cause you know Clarence pitched that ass. <laughs> he showed up at the job scene that. Let me put it like this. I know what's going on. It took me many years, many years of studying and studying and studying to get to where I'm at. It took me many years of uh, living a certain lifestyle. Silver. Yeah. And the real hypocrites was the senators. 
your biggest crooks in the world up there trying to jail somebody. It's a shot in the dark, oh, well, it's worth the ride. I do it for the kids, cause I hear them crying now. Caught up in the wave, put our dreams on standby. Everybody watching like the show at halftime. It's a shot in the dark, oh, well, it's worth the ride. I do it for the kids, cause I hear them crying now. Caught up in the wave, put our dreams on standby. Everybody watching like the show at halftime. I'm gone, be the man, flow sharper than the tag. Everybody laughing at it. But there's no laughing matter since as a heart attack. The boys washed up, working at the laundry man. I show love to everybody and they show me love back. Everybody join the team, man, then we have a chance. Every time I touch the beat, man, they call me ambulance. And I went now fighting like a Ron Artist. DJ Keller, who? Nah, bro, we the best. Coming straight from the heart to wherever you at. I'm gone. Many years of practice certain things, many years of discipline, uh, many years of it, to, to get to the point of consciousness where I'm at right now. It's a shot in the dark, oh, well, it's worth the ride. I do it for the kids, cause I hear them crying now. Caught up in the wave, put our dreams on standby. Everybody watching like the show at halftime. It's a shot in the dark, oh, well, it's worth the ride. I do it for the kids, cause I hear them crying now. Evil Empire. What I know, or what I see, I see, I, I see things for what they are. I don't see things from my perspective. I don't see things from an ego perspective. Because data and facts, it's got nothing to do with you. Data and facts, it's statistics. things this, this plus this equals that, like simple mathematics and simple knowledge is irrefutable. I pretty much only deal in what's actual and factual and what's happening and what's occurring. The results of things, um, this plus this is that, you know, I only see the shit for what it is. I have my own viewpoints on shit. I do have my own opinion on certain things when I'm trying to formulate a consensus about something. But generally, I only see it for what it is. And that comes from years and years of... Especially Ted Kennedy's age. Rapist, murderer, drive-by shootings, you name it, he done it. And every time they ask him a question, I yield to Senator Casabon. I be going hard, everything going on, got to give it to the Lord, everybody take a British for the patient on the war, I be the odds every time it gets recorded. Evil Empire, laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> Data and analysts and um, analytics and studying facts and just studying a lot, you know. My flow is psychotic, big duck, cocaine diet. I paint a perfect picture, definition of an artist. My flow would be so sick, but nobody saw it coming. See my print on the game, take it back to where it started. My flow is psychotic, big duck, cocaine diet. I paint a perfect picture, definition of an artist. My flow would be so sick, but nobody saw it coming. See my print on the game, take it back to where it started. I be, I be going hard, everything going on, gotta give it to the Lord. Everybody take the risk, but can't show no reward. I beat the odds every time they press record. They try to stop me, but I kept on moving forward. Comparing me to who in another category. I can fly every time you hear a verse. Breaking news, I'm the one that did it first. When you ever heard of them, I was putting in the word. I'm so far away, you might need a tell
studying all viewpoints, not just the viewpoint that I want to seek out, not just the um, see and, and just trying to visualize and see things that's going to keep me comfortable and happy. That's not what it's about. But the truth sometimes is very uncomfortable. And the truth sometimes is something that you have to deal with and stomach. You know, you might find out you got uh, some type of terminal illness. You might find out that your child that's coming is, you know, it's plenty of truths and facts that aren't positive. You know, your baby can be born with some type of health, effect, uh, some type of health problem, or you could have, it's like, it's plenty of things that are in factual that aren't positive. Good things are good too, but good is only to be cherished in the moment. Positive things are only to be cherished in the moment because everything comes to an end in life. So if you're only cherishing and trying to hold on to comfortable things or things that make you happy, then you're going to have momentary hits of, of uh, dopamine and you're not going to really be in ready for what life has to offer you because life offers good and it offers bad and all of it's needed to balance you out and uh, get you to the next level of your consciousness the next level of your life so really you gotta embrace everything um, I, I, I've been trying to tell people that they don't seem to understand that and I don't understand people want to be comfortable and, and happy all the time it's just that that's a form of always want to be one certain way because even me I have you have to be balanced like even when I'm studying I'm studying I'm studying I take times where I just look at some stuff that or I do things you know that are just goofy and I'm really a goofy person in real life like when I'm with my kids I'm just very goofy very entertaining and very fun we don't do nothing but laugh and have fun and be goofy when it's time to talk serious and time to talk as an adult, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? So just don't bring up none of my shit. Just run over there. stuff you got to be ready for, you know, and a lot of people are prepared for life and a lot of people are not, a lot of people are comfortable and satisfied, and it's like a pacifier, if that's what you choose to suck on the pacifier your whole life, then that's, that's what's going to happen, you know, you're going to be, have that, not, you're not going to be ready for any type of turmoil or any type of hardship when it comes your way that could possibly make you stronger or better or just something you have to deal with. You get what I'm saying, so. <laughs> and you know Ben Franklin was fucked up. He went out in the lightning storm with a kite. <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> and Michael Jackson got his new album out. The stuff Teddy did on there slamming. The rest of that, uh -huh. I think Michael's on crack. <laughs> Myself. Anybody that will fuck they face up like that on purpose, he don't stop that. Yeah. I bet you Mike was at home, Mike's like. I had to break that down because I was having deep conversations with somebody that I love and they 
people don't understand that reality is reality. So, um, I feel like we gotta do. Well, you know, and the sad part about it is in this world, you can do what you want to do. There's, there's people who God run, and then there's people who the devil run, and then there's people who kind of know you. Depending on the things that you do with your life, the things you participate in, your daily actions, that seals your overall faith. So if you, if you constantly participate in positive things or, or good deeds and good things, then you could be a good addition to the world. You could, you know, type of things are like negative tally marks on your soul and that depicts where you go the strength of the team is each individual member each person brings unique talents perspectives and experiences to the table contributing to the collective success and in turn the strength of each member is the team itself it's the cohesion the collaboration and the support within the group that amplify individual abilities and lead to remarkable achievements. Together, we complement each other's strengths and shore up each other's weaknesses, creating a formidable force capable of overcoming any challenge. So, let's recognize the value of every member, nurture a culture of respect and appreciation, and harness the power of our collective efforts. Because when we recognize that the strength of the team lies in each individual member, and that the strength of each member is the team, there's no limit to what we can accomplish together.